tiny time troopers. So nice of you to drop by. Now, take off your mittens, wipe your feet, and watch as I wipe our EJ and his pathetic pals. Come to Daddy Kairos. Time. The most precious treasure in the universe. Our mission? To explore it. To travel through history, unraveling its mysteries, unlocking its secrets, unleashing its energy. Knowledge is power. Well, it's a great big world. Yeah. And it's been around a long, long time. AJ time traveling, traveling through history, unlocking its secrets. Ring is the key. AJ time traveling, question of revelers. Knowledge is power. AJ time traveling. Forget about war, Mother. Jogging is heck, if you'll pardon my French. How far did you get, dear? Oh, well, this time I made it all the way to the end of the driveway. Oh, that's excellent, dear. <sighs> Mr. Heart Disease won't come knocking at your door. Who's that? Oh, good, you guys are home. There's something I want to run by you. Uh, please, don't say run. Go ahead, AJ, spill the beans. Someone say beans? I just ate so many if I get the music in me. It's my guidance counselor. I want to join the school band, but he says I've got too many activities already. Well, let's see. What's on your plate, son? Well, I'm class president, editor of the school paper, and I play on the tennis team. No flies on you. I hate that expression. But maybe your guidance counselor's right, son. Yeah, maybe, but the band gets to go to all the away games and ride on the bus with the cheerleaders. Hoo-hoo-hoo! Need another flugelhorn, son? <laughs> AJ, I think it's wonderful that you're trying so many new things and developing your potential. That's rock-solid advice, Mother. And I'm living proof of developing my full potential. Huh? What do you see when you look at me, son? Uh... My dad. Yes, I am your dad, but never forget, I'm also a breath mint. Huh? <laughs> See what I did there? I'm developing my comedy potential. <laughs> yeah, sure, Dad. Well, I guess I've got to figure this one out for myself. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Warp's been spotted bringing back a videotape that he didn't rewind. The beat! Prepare the ship! You heard the man. Reactors ready. Retrievers! Not ready, is he? What are you doing? Enjoying a flea dip. May I? <laughs> Looks very refreshing, but you're going to spoil those fleas. Oh, no, I'm not. They're paying for all their own poolside snacks. <laughs> the Kairos and its crew are ready for you, Commander. The Kairos and its crew are ready, Commander. We'll see just how ready they are. Synchronize. The NCS Potentia. Knowledge is power. <laughs> the bridge. Hey, guys. What's up, Ollie? You <laughs> zipped in just in time, Commander. Yeah, just in time for trouble. I wonder where that demented warp's going to send us now. No need to worry about the future when I have the power to make the present a nightmare. <laughs> Interesting conundrum. The bald the warp gets, the hairier he makes their lives. <laughs> <laughs> I have a
an errand for you, Commander. I want you to go back in time and find one of history's greatest artists and inventors, and pick me up a masterpiece for my art collection. And make sure it's the most valuable and famous painting in the world. Fail, and you will all cease to exist! And now, we must all be... brave and face the... task at hand. Warp will settle for nothing less than a masterpiece. Commander, we... Await your decision. Masterpiece. How about a Rembrandt? Or a Van Gogh? Picasso's nothing to sneeze at. Don't forget, he has to be an artist and an inventor. Two geniuses in one. Only one man fills that bill. The genius of geniuses, Leonardo da Vinci. Bit, set the coordinates. Destination Lockin. Florence, Italy, 1505. Can I skip the seatbelt? It chased my thighs right under my... Oh. Okay, okay, I'll wear it. Maria, contact the time tower. Time tower, this is the Kairos. Roger that, Kairos. Ah, Florence, Italy, huh? You know, Florence Henderson is absolutely gorgeous at this time of year. And truly spectacular in the fall. It's Florence, Italy for us right now, Pulse. If you insist. But before you leave, does anyone have any questions or comments? I have a question. Why does steam come out of a hot dog? I mean questions about going back in time. Okay, why did steam used to come out of a hot dog? Because it could! Okay, you're clear direct to 1505. Launching sequence may commence. Proceed to passenger entry platform 13687.91. And while you're back in time, if you see Abraham Lincoln, tell him I said, stay home, the place stinks. Thanks, Pulse. Let's make time tracks. southern portion of the European continent lies the country of Italy and one of its most beautiful cities, Firenze. Florence, home of some of the world's greatest masterpieces, Michelangelo's David, Botticelli's Birth of Venus, and Luigi's Deluxe Pizza. Try to claim an artichoke special it is to die for. But perhaps Florence is best known for that master of masters, the multi-talented Leonardo da Vinci. Who's that? And now, let's meet our main renaissance man. An artist who's picture perfect. A dude who puts the can in canvas. An inventor who puts the do in doohickey. Put your hand. And or paws together for Leonardo, Leonardo da, da Vinci. Vinci. In the mansions! In the mansions! Everybody step up and get your inventions! Money talks, nobody walks. Ah. Oh, boy, I got just the thing for you. A non-reflecting mirror. Hey, I can't see myself. Perfetto! Everybody wins. Mr. Da Vinci, we've come to meet one of the most famous painters in history. What do you talk? I'm an inventor. Painting, she's just a sideline. But we've come all the way from the future. Can't you paint something for us? Well, uh, uh, okay, I'll do it. And you know why? Because I've just invented niceness. Bada bing! Bada bang! Bada boom! Ha ha! <laughs> okay, you. You are going to sit, or in your case, heel, for a portrait. I don't know. I've never done any modeling before. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that's beautiful. Lick your lips. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh nice. Now give me carefree. <laughs> yes. Not too carefree. That's it. Okay, now, doggy. Right paw blue. Uh, left paw green. Right paw brown. 
Keep going. That's nice. It's beautiful. You're almost there. Oh. <laughs> that was fun. Now, does anyone interested in my new patented dog detangler? That's just a stick. Oh, yeah, to you. Hey, Bonzo. <laughs> Patch of the stick. <laughs> That's it. There it goes. Jeez. The dog is now detangled. Leonardo. We're looking for one of the most famous and valuable paintings in the world. Look no more. I got what you want right in here. Now, where is it? <laughs> Magnificent, no? Magnificent, yes. <laughs> Good doggy. <laughs> you don't get out much, do you, dog? No. Actually, we were referring to the Mona Lisa. Oh, okie dokie. Oh, me in. Oh, Mona, come to Papa. <laughs> ah. Many years of my life went into this painting. His subject's name was Madonna Lisa. Mona Lisa for short. She's so much classier than that other Madonna. <laughs> Says you. Wow, look at how carefully he painted. You're talking about Leonardo's famous attention to detail. Attention to detail is what brings my paintings to life! To paint, I must first observe, like the scientist. Leonardo believes that art and science must walk <laughs> hand in hand. Precisamente! I study and learn and experiment as I paint. You know, the Mona Lisa, she did not come out perfect the first time. Would you like to see some, um... Mona Lisa outtakes. <laughs> Is it hosted by Ed McMahon and Dick Clark? Obviously, Poochie has it confused with Mona Lisa's bloopers and blunders. <laughs> this was my first attempt. It would have been good, but Mona... She moved. This one... I don't know what I was thinking. Perfect. I like it. It's expressive, yet tells me nothing. Then there's the problem of when you go to paint on a location. <laughs> Kids. But then finally, everything she came together. Her smile. She's a perfect... Oh, yes. Mona's... <laughs> smile. Ever since you... painted her, people have been trying to... Guess what she's smiling about. Maybe it's gas. I'll tell you why she's a smiling. She's a smiling because while I was a painting her, I was using another one of my inventions. Huh? Hey, Mona, check this out. <laughs> Go figure. He's a genius, and I get chased around with a can of bug spray. Spray! I love this portrait. I work on it for many years, even turned down other portraits, so I could keep working on my Mona Lisa. And now it's one of the most famous and valuable paintings in the world. It hangs in France's greatest museum, the Louvre. France? Oh, isn't that where poodles come from? <laughs> Get me my beret. Ooh la la. Oh, woof. Down, boy. If I were you, I would stick to kibble. La Bonehead. Bonehead? Leonardo, you created many masterpieces. Ha <laughs> ha! You're telling me. In fact, I'll show you my latest masterpiece. I call it Yux Al Dente, the hit of any party. I'm running a special this week. Actually, I was referring to these masterpieces. Who can forget? The Last Supper, The Adoration of the Magi, Portrait of a Musician, St. John the Baptist, Lady with an Ermine, 
Madonna on the Rocks, The Annunciation, and many more. You must be one of the greatest artists who ever lived. The other contenders are Michelangelo, Rembrandt, and surprisingly, Billy Ray Cyrus. Bah, paintings are okay, but I want to be remembered for my inventions. I dream of building a machine that will fly. Here, let me show you my notebook. <gasps> what an honor. Oh, Leonardo's notebooks are a glimpse of genius. Scholars will study them for centuries. <gasps> May I? Knock yourself out. For a savory tuna casserole, the whole family will enjoy. Wrong notebook. For years, I searched for the secret of flight by studying the wings of the birds. Birds? What am I, chop liver? Ah, birds. Oh, feathery little angels of the air. Such grace, such beauty. Elegant is the eagle. Sublime is the sparrow. Remarkable is the robin. Daffy is the duck. <laughs> I don't write this stuff. Is this another one of your ideas for a flying machine? That's right, AJ. Today, we call it a helicopter. Leonardo, did you really build a helicopter in the 16th century? Uh, well, no. No, I, uh, I hardly built any of my inventions. But Leonardo was the first to imagine them, and lots of things that Leonardo imagined became real centuries later. The parachute. The tank. The construction crane. The snorkel, the diving suit. And don't forget the 64-ounce super slushy. Excuse me, Leonardo, but your handwriting's kind of, well, strange. Ha-ha! Now, here's something you don't see every day. Mirror writing. Of course it is. Oh, what's mirror writing? Leonardo writes all his notes with their backwards, so they can only be read in a mirror. Ah! Check it out! Big, hairy objects may be closer than the... Hey! <laughs> Why do you write backwards? I don't know, but who am I to question genius? Well, I can see you guys ain't gonna buy nothing, so I'm going back to my inventing. Now, that looks familiar. Did I invent that? Or am I confusing it with the toupee I invented, which laughs at itself? <laughs> Ciao, baby! Wow. I knew Leonardo was a great painter. I didn't know he had so many other talents. That, my boy, is the Renaissance man's Renaissance man. And I'm the villain's villain, and you're going to be in trouble, trouble if you can't pass my test. Ah! <laughs> oh, I trust you had a pleasant visit in Italy, Commander. Very nice, Warp. Now we'd like to get home. Don't be so sure you'll never see your little home again. Question one: What did Leonardo think he was going to be famous for? Leonardo is most famous for his paintings like the Mona Lisa, the Last Supper, and the Annunciation. But he thought he'd be remembered for his inventions. Uh, uh, and I'll be remembered for defeating you and seizing the Kairos. Question two. What was unique about Leonardo's handwriting? He wrote backwards. You had to hold a mirror to his notebooks to read what he wrote. Uh, 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 uh. Question three! Where's that masterpiece I asked for? The most famous and valuable painting in the world. You mean the Mona Lisa? It's in Paris, in the Louvre. But we do have this handsome copy that will look just great in your rumpus room or dam. Ah, you have defeated me this time, but I'll be back with an even more challenging challenge. <laughs> You're not listening to me! Don't mind threats mean anything! Wake up, time, people! You don't do what I can do! You don't know! Surprisingly, there's no Mrs. Warp. <laughs> Commander, you saved our necks again. And everything we learned is here on this disc. Knowledge is power. 
Thanks, guys. Bit, take us home. And this time, take the scenic route. Subject, Leonardo da Vinci. Our encounter with the great Leonardo taught me that a person can do many things and do them well. I learned curiosity and passion for work and ideas can be the path to greatness. Mom, Dad, I've got it all figured out. I'm gonna play in a school band and have plenty of time for my other activity. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, what instrument are you gonna play, son? The cymbals! Well, uh... <clears throat> I used to be a pretty good cymbal player myself in my day. Oh, your dad's being modest, AJ. Huh? Oh, raindrops <laughs> keep falling on my head. Our song. Huh? <laughs> <laughs>